Okay, here's one from 1998 to 2016. So obviously maintaining her figure, if not improving upon it from almost 20 years ago at this point. What's up guys, Derek from PlaySmartAids.com. Today we're going to be talking about J-Lo. This is a topic that's been, I have honestly like fucking 77 different tabs open right now and it's baffling to me that I have not actually been able to catch up by now to the point where I have articles that are fucking three months old sitting on my to-do list and I'm just trying to fire them out. So I have some like random shit up here and uh, I want to get, <laughs> I want to get these off my browser. And um, at the time, obviously this was a pretty big topic at the end of January. Jennifer Lopez says her Botox is trying to be kind and lift up other women. So as in like, that's a cheesy fucking quote, obviously. But the pop star explained why she responded to a commenter accusing her of using tons of injectables. So basically what happened was she posted this raw video on her IG basically saying like promoting an over-the-counter cosmetic product and basically showing how she's wrinkle free and blah 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 and it's literally her skincare line. So obviously people are going to be there's some people who are going to be really annoyed about it because it's it's almost like a a guy who's sauced out of his fucking mind who's promoting a you know natural muscle building product and then saying like this is the reason why I have 99% of my progress. It's like a okay, it would be like if a Mr. Olympia competitor took turkesterone and then said this is why I look the way I do. Like obviously it's like a fucking 1% part of the equation here. And yeah, obviously for some people, it's going to move the needle more than others, but that's in relative terms for a guy who's like 300 pounds, like, you know what I mean? Like that's the fucking kind of thing that you're, you would sort of gather from somebody who's in their fifties, who has, you know, presumably a bunch of cosmetic work done to look much younger than they are and have, you know, flawless looking skin and then claiming, oh, like my moist, this like special fucking cream is why I have no wrinkles. And it's like, you know, people don't like being misled. So anyways, she had this video on her IG. Okay, I just took off the mask. Honestly, I cannot even see a line on my face. <laughs> it is glowy and gorgeous and tight and yummy and like, oh my God, this is the best mask that I've ever, ever tried. It's better than the SK2s. It's better than all those ones I have over there. This is going to be the top selling mask in the world. It is fantastic. And that ear situation that pulls it up makes all the difference. And there's nothing dripping down my face. It's not messy. So anyway, she just goes on to explain why this thing's the sickest fucking thing ever and why it's, you know, you should get it pretty much. Um... <laughs> We did not decide, we decided not to charge $10,000 for them. Like, oh, thanks. So in an interview, kind of uh, responding to the comment in her uh, Instagram post that is shitting on her, she says, I don't judge anybody. If you want to do Botox and injectables, that's fine, but I don't want people lying on me and saying, oh, she's trying to make me believe that this stuff works. No, I'm telling you what I do that works. Please don't call me a liar. I don't have to lie about things. I've been pretty honest about my whole life. Um, if I had, I would say, yeah, you're right, but I don't want people going, stop lying, you're doing this, you're doing that, when it's just not true. I just felt I had to be set straight, but in a loving way. And one of my big beauty secrets is that I try to be kind to others and lift other women up. I think that is important for us to do for each other instead of trying to tear people down. So she literally says she doesn't use Botox, doesn't use any injectable fillers or whatnot, and she's in her 50s and looks like this. So obviously a pretty uh, impressive feat if that were the case. And a lot of people are skeptical as fuck because this chick looks um unreal for her age like in her 50s she looks like i don't know what you would compare age wise to but obviously she looks much better than 99.9 percent .9 of females in her age bracket like disproportionately so um and like if you google like her physique is pretty uh like she's never really been out of shape but like even nowadays in more recent years like she's toned like a you know 20 something with good you know good metabolism or somebody who's actually um, lifting and um, trying to, you know, gain muscle and build a fit physique. She's maintaining it as she ages, um, aging very gracefully. So anyways, is it even possible to look 
this damn like flawless in the face without like again obviously she uses makeup and shit but i mean during the actual post like the raw footage like you can still see no like like i guess you can tell she's older than you know she used to be but i mean like she looks pretty fucking young still like where is uh what's like a good before and after i'm just trying to see if there's like a a young versus old comparison here from like uh her younger years relative to her current physique uh, ba -ba -ba. okay so this is her from one okay i'm not gonna watch that whole fucking thing okay here's one from 1998 to 2016 so obviously maintaining her figure if not improving upon it from almost 20 years ago at this point which is like if you have a guy who's in his 20s or whatever and his uh physique all of a sudden start taking a drastic change in a positive direction in his 50s you know you start to question things now again it wasn't drastic though she's sort of just been like steadily maintaining and or like improving in certain areas disproportionately so and looks uh fucking incredible so the question is again circling back to the face thing can you even is it even possible to maintain this kind of a look without fillers and stuff well i guess it depends on if you believe them and it's not like i am good at analyzing faces necessarily so this is going to be a natty or not more so on hrt and whatnot but i did a video on Sean Do Tan. I don't know how to fucking say his name. I remember I said it wrong in the video though. It was like, I had to like double, you know, re not, <laughs> I had to like say it like four times fucking to get it correct, but it was like Sean Do, Sean Do Tan. So this guy is 55 years old. And as you can see in the thumbnail, he looks like he's in his twenties. Like the guy is absolutely ageless. It's fucking insane. Um, and he's jacked at the same time. Like this is his, uh, this is his Instagram and here's him in a recent interview. And um, I think he clean shaves to like make himself look younger quite often because uh, it definitely helps when you don't have uh, the facial hair definitely ages you a bit. But like obviously that's a more mature look, but you can tell the guy looks a lot closer to his age with the facial hair. But then when he goes like clean shave and he looks like a fucking K-pop like 20 or 25 year old or something. Um, so here he is signing autographs and blah, blah, blah. And he has uh, a lot of uh, fitness shots and whatnot because the guy's physique's pretty sick um and this guy is like the ageless wonder here he is just chilling with a baby which is uh <laughs> what, what am i gonna say uh this is a cute video i don't know what the fuck you're saying because i don't speak uh yeah i have no idea what the fucking caption says but anyways um the guy looks ex ridiculously young he also claims he uses no injectable fillers or anything he said he tried botox one time didn't like it never used it again and um so is it possible you know obviously that's assuming he's telling the truth too but j-lo is she you know lying is she not um i would not be surprised if this guy's telling the truth i think genetic phenoms do exist in terms of looking much younger than you are I have no reason to believe this would be like an, a, a giant lie about saying you've used Botox but never using it before. Maybe it's sort of like the retroactive fake nannies or the guys who claim like uh, like Julian Smith. He says like, oh, I did the pro hormones like one time and then I never did anything thereafter. Maybe that's the equivalent of, <laughs> of this with doing Botox one time and then never touching it thereafter. I don't really know. But anyways, I think it is possible that she looks like this without injectables and fillers and whatnot. This is speculation though based on, to be honest, Schwando or Chondo fucking um, heavily influenced my decision making process on that if he's able to look like this at 55. But as far as actually looking like this in her physique, you know, like I would speculate too that when you're in the public eye and you're getting like paparazzi all the fucking time, having a bad like Botox injection or something might be like detrimental to your career. Where if it looks too obvious that you've got a cosmetic procedure done, if you lied about it, like it would definitely reflect very, very poorly on you to the point where I don't know if she would make this bold of a claim without it being true. But again, circling back to the natty or not, do I think it's me? She is, you know, natural overall. No, I think in fact, she is probably on HRT. I would not be surprised if she's trying to maintain, you know, her fit body composition into her fifties, looking as good as she did in her, you know, twenties body composition wise and whatnot, dating a guy who's a historical sauce fiend and a half. Um, obviously, I, I don't know if he is now, but I, uh, you know, if you haven't seen, um, was it a Game of Shadows he was in? I forget which one it was, but there's a uh, one of the uh, steroid kind of like docu series things. It was either the book or there was a good uh, documentary on Netflix actually recently too about the uh, clinic that was providing a Rod his uh, you know 
um, super sups and whatnot. Um, very good fucking documentary. Definitely recommend watching it. But anyway, she's close with him. And um, I'm not saying that you're guilty by association, but her fucking physique is just immaculate to the point where I would not be surprised if that's also helping her skin quality to some extent, you know? If you are in menopause and your estrogen crashes to fucking nothingness, is it going to help your skin quality? No, it's going to harm it significantly. So I would not be surprised if she is on the HRT bandwagon and doing something like a micro supplementation of testosterone replacement, getting in her, her progesterone, her estrogen, um, basically having bioidentical replacement, maybe a tad bit of GH in there, and um, trying to stay as youthful and fit as possible into her older age, you know, aging as gracefully as possible. Because that's, uh, you know, what I would speculate at minimum. I'm not sure if she does Botox, you know, if you guys have more experience with cosmetic procedures and whatnot, you can spot it, you know, drop it in the comments down below. But that is my verdict on the natty or not. I do not think she is natural. I do, in fact, think she is on the HRT bandwagon. So anyways, kudos to her still. I don't know if she's lying. Obviously, this is fucking terrible. But if she's not, then good on her for having sick genetics and good on her for obviously putting in the work to maintain that physique because it's not easy to be... Even if you're on HRT in your 50s, it's not easy to maintain this physique. You know, you still have to put the work in. So anyways, definitely gets kudos for that. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, check out my blog, moreplacemoredates.com. Follow me on Instagram, at moreplacemoredates. Facebook, Snapchat, Bitchu, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below, my TRT clinic. It's all telemedicine from the comfort of your own home. And we do help men and women. It's not just a men um, focus clinic as you, I don't know, maybe might think based on the nature of my content. We do in fact, um, have cutting edge, uh, therapy for women. You know, most, honestly, most doctors don't even understand how to do HRT for men, let alone for women. It's far more fucking complicated. So, um, if you want comprehensive oversight from doctors who know what they're doing in a, um, like for your mom or for, you know, your wife, whoever it is that may be, um, menopausal and or you know peri and may need some or even somebody who just wants to look at their health status and get recommendations and or assess any imbalances or deficiencies that may um, warrant bringing up um, check us out it's in the video description below and um, as well as my recommended lab tests and diagnostics stay on top of your health and anything else i'm associated with it's all in the video description below thank you guys for watching talk to you soon